This week on the Ritual Misery podcast, sadly, we're not in Austin. Mm, but I did spend some time in Juneau, Alaska. I'm getting pretty hyped about some Game of Thrones, dude. Yes, 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 yes. And as part of that Game of Thrones hype, I am performing on my internship. Finally. Sounds like a conspiracy to me. <laughs> and I fucked up the intro. <laughs> Yay! Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode uh, 205. Oh, my shit's not working. Uh, hold on here. Wait a second. There we go. Um, 205 for Thursday, the something, the Ides of March or something like that, right? Isn't that what this is? Uh, the Half Ides? What's Half uh, Ides? Uh, half Ides? I mean, it's like the, the Sept of the... Tr- uh, yeah, I don't know. Right, no, that, that sounds about right. Uh, this is a show where two lifelong friends and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos, and that other guy that doesn't know anything more than I do, that's Kent. How you doing, dude? Oh, oh man, I'm doing good. You screwed up that intro, but you correct, you quickly corrected yourself. Last week, I screwed up the intro, and I had to go back and redo the first five minutes of the show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's... Um, I mean, th- if that happens, I guess maybe. Yeah, no, it was fun. Yeah, all right. Too bad you weren't there. Uh, but I was in Juno. <laughs> yeah, dude. What were you doing in Juno? Uh, my wife and I decided we were going to spend our anniversary in some place we'd never been, and it was easily attainable, easily uh, flyable to, and we enjoyed it. It was a nice small town. We were ready to go when it was time to go. And that's the capital of north of the wall, right? It is. It, it is the capital of North of the Wall. <laughs> <laughs> and you described it as a small town. That's interesting to me. Several small towns. It's basically like this, the um, two sides of a beach in a valley amongst mountains. So there's not a whole lot of land to develop on. And so everything's kind of spread out. And what is there is very small. And it's very small town. Very, very small town. They have exactly one McDonald's. They did have a Costco, although they do not any longer have a Walmart because apparently oh. Walmart wasn't wasn't making enough money there. We found two malls. Um, they had a total of ten uh, businesses between them, so that was exciting. The best thing we did was go to the uh, well. We found I won't say the best thing we did was go to the brewery, which it kind of was, but we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> we found a little uh, breakfast joint that had this amazing uh, chicken fried steak. And I know a lot of people call it country fried steak. I don't give a shit what you call it. It's uh, 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 beef tenderloin, I guess. Uh, deep fried and delicious with uh, some sawmill gravy on top and some hash browns and some eggs. Mm, mm, mm. That does sound pretty good. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> you know, chicken fried. I've never understood why they call it chicken fried. Because, like, it's chicken fried steak, chicken fried chicken. Like, what the fuck is chicken fried chicken? Uh, chicken that you fry the way that you normally fry chicken? Because <laughs> chicken fried steak would be steak that you fry the way you normally fry chicken. You bread it and then uh, throw it in the frying pan. So That's so dumb. Like, that could only... Never mind. That's <laughs> so stupid. My, my grandma used to call it that, and I, I just... I never understood it. I just lumped it in with all of the... The many things the old, that old people say that just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, uh, bucket full of white people appropriately calls it country fried chicken. I think that's a lot better. <laughs> I, I, I can go with that. C- yeah. Country fried. Yeah, country fried chicken or country fried steak. It, it, either way, it's delicious. I prefer bucket full of white people's hash browns, of course, because they got those cheesy hash browns. Did you say bucket full of white people? Yeah. What the hell is that? Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Wow, that's a little racist. Uh, according to the ideology of racism, I'm allowed to say that because I'm white. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh! M Beam says chicken fried chicken fries. Uh, that's probably a thing on someone's menu. Uh, I think that's essentially what chicken fries are, right? At uh, at the old BK because they're breaded chicken strips that are deep fried. So I guess I that would counts. assume so. I haven't been to uh, a Burger King in how about steak fried chicken fries. 
<laughs> that's just that's confusing. <laughs> My bad. Um, so yeah, we went to the brewery. We went, went to Alaskan Brewery's uh, little tasting room. Mm. They had 12 to 15, 15 beers on tap. 16 beers? I don't know. They had a bunch of beers on tap. We tried mm-hmm. most of them. We came away with one that was so amazing and delicious that um, I bought three... Uh, growlers, which they actually had, they, they, they poured, poured their growlers into a can and then sealed the can. So it's basically like a huge can of beer. It's amazing. Oh. Um, I got one on the way to the uh, have a drink folks because, well, I owe them some swag and some uh, tasties. And I have an extra one to send to you. But if the have a drink folks one doesn't arrive safely, then I'm going to send yours to them because fuck you. Ah, yeah, they take priority. <laughs> uh, well, well, what I'll- kind of beer was it? Uh, that I'm not going to say. Oh, because I want that to be a surprise for them. Oh, okay. So I have I have a bunch of swag uh, going their way and some beers, and uh, I'll, I'll hold uh, I'll hold the, the 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 name of the beer until they get it because it was stupid good and I just know Bushy McBeard face is going to fucking love it. <laughs> I think it would be fantastic if they unveiled it live during their show. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not going to ask for that, but that is um, that. That's the hope, anyway. I love those guys, and uh, I, was, I was I was really yeah. happy to to fork over the 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 pittance of cash that I needed to fork over to make sure that I could get a beer to them. So, yeah, very very cool, yeah. um, man. We we broke tradition this year. Um, yes, we did. Oh, by the way, this is uh, some of the swag I got there. Bam. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Alaskan Brewing bottle opener. Yep. Uh, this this is actually something you have coming toward you to you because I, I got you one. Oh, well, thank you very much. It happens. Badass. Um, yeah. So for the last uh, what four years? Fourteen billion with a D years. <laughs> um, yeah. So we we've been going to South by Southwest for several years now. Mm. Uh, hosting get-togethers and shows and all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, w- watching Austin. country, c- watching Crunchy get thrown out of bars that we try to go to. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the thing that happens. Um, yeah, so we're not there. No. Uh, we're not going this year. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, uh, timing and funds and um, lots of things all the did things. not fall into place. Pretty so. much all the things. Yeah, so we look forward to uh, seeing everyone's uh, social media postings and and all of that. I, I really wish we could have been there, but um, uh, looking forward to seeing, like I guess, living vicariously through all of the attendees this year. Yeah, um, it, it, it's a sad thing. I know the Diamond Club's got a big thing going. Uh, Nitec has a huge uh, event going with Ice Cream Social and things like that, and. Uh, yeah, kind of sad that we can't be there. Richard arrived today. I'm sure Kathy got there this morning. Um, all the people we normally hang out with are going to be there. Curtis and Dark Redeemer and all of them and um, uh, Gelf and uh, everybody. So it's 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 a sad event. It's um, I'm happy for them, if that matters. I mean, yeah, I'm genuinely uh, happy that they're going to have an awesome time. Uh, so I'm 95% sure that we're going to be there next year. <laughs> and come hell or high water. <laughs> since we skip, since we're skipping this year, we're going to have to make up for it somehow, dude. Yes, yeah. Um uh, and I I may already be in the works on that. Mm, we've got a year to tease that <laughs> whatever that might be. Mm. And of course the problem um, isn't with us. We like planning shit as far out as ahead of time. We already got like Streamathon 2020 plans going on. It's the people we're dealing with that like to plan shit yesterday. <laughs> uh, hey, we got an event tonight. When are we going to plan that? Let's plan that tomorrow. Does that sound good? <clears throat> right. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, uh, sounds like an episode of Ritual Misery. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. So speaking of uh, of hyping things, uh, I've been hyped for Game of Thrones for a while, over a year now. Oh my god! Okay, so on. T- on uh, uh, let's talk about Thrones. We just recorded the end of season six, the six oh nine six ten Battle of Bastards and Winds of Winter. I and and then the that day, that day yesterday dropped the trailer, the official trailer, like a full fledged, tra- not these little glimpses of this and bullshit and that. 
Oh my gosh. Like I've never been so hyped to see a fucking TV show in my entire life. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, looks awesome. Th- they didn't give away a lot in the trailer. Like I feel like most people, like if you're a little bit behind, you're still trying to catch up or whatever, you can watch this trailer and not have a lot spoiled for you. Yeah. Uh, other than maybe the fact that, Oh, that person's still alive. Oh, that person's still alive. Uh, but I don't even think that's a spoiler Mm-mm. because there's a certain character that that um, um, can maybe see past events mm. in the present time. Yeah. So just because we see him on screen doesn't mean that it's happening right now. Yeah. Oh, my God. I am... I was so hyped up, dude. We're about ready to start rewatching season seven. I, I know I need to get episodes out. If you're, if <laughs> look at me right now, if you're an editor of podcasts and you want to do some free work, let me know. I've got a ton of let's talk about Thrones. I need to go it out as soon as possible. So <laughs> yeah, dude, uh, that, uh, let's talk about Thrones is going to have an accelerated release schedule <laughs> in the next few weeks. Next week is spring break. I plan on churning out a ton of content. Yep. That's awesome, dude. Uh, yeah. So speaking of Game of Thrones, Steph wants to join Lucas and me for uh, watching the shows week over week. Mm. And uh, the only problem is she's a little bit behind, like Season as in several two? seasons behind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I went ahead a couple of nights ago and I reactivated my HBO Now account so that she can binge the hell out of the show in time to get caught up. Can, can I mention HBO Go or HBO Now real quick? Yeah, this is a perfect segue. Fuck HBO now. Okay. <gasps> because? It's a great service. They have great shows. I've never been more into HBO specific shows in, in my entire life, really. I mean, between mm-hmm. uh, uh, this uh, last night, this week, or this week, last night, last week, this, whatever it is, with John Oliver, mm-hmm. um, some of the Vice News stuff that's coming out is great. The... Uh, I have got to catch this damned Michael Jackson um, uh, two part documentary. Like that's got to happen because yeah, won't you be such... my neighbor is on there. I noticed. Yes, I yes. Wait to watch that, and I haven't watched that either. Um, there's so much great content on there, and their their shows are 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 kicking ass. But their billing system is fucking stupid. Every month on the thirteenth of the month, it tells me, hey. Uh, your subscription ran out. Like, no, it didn't, motherfucker. Like, I've already got the charge in iTunes. Like, it shows right there that I already uh, paid. So then you have to reactivate. And, of course, it's activated against our family account, the the one my wife and I share, which is tied to my normal email account because my login is my email. Um, but the alias is what it's signed into, and it still goes through the same billing. But, no, oh, this and... Ah... Uh, Fuck you when I initially and your signed up, system. I, I signed up through Apple, uh, but this time when I when I signed in, I like I was able to use my same email address. So essentially, it's the same account, mm-hmm. but different payment but method. It's now built, yeah. So now it's built directly through HBO. So yeah, I need to do that because fuck Apple's that. not get cut <laughs> of it. Well, I don't even mind. I don't care if Apple gets cut. No, I don't give a shit. I pay the money. It, it whatever. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's the inconvenience of having to go through and hit the little fucking re, uh, 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 whatever it is, like restore purchases or. Yeah, see, that's you know, super weird, man. Is that on? Is that through the Apple TV app yeah. or like where does that? Oh, yeah, okay. that's through Apple TV. But then when you go and log in, because I usually watch it here in my office and it's on the computer, so I'm watching it in Chrome, which mm-hmm. Chrome is jittery as fuck for for that and for Netflix. I can't figure it out, so I had to use edge tonight to watch one of the videos that you had linked down there on Netflix. And, um, uh, it's, it, it, they just don't want to fucking agree. Like then there's no clear way. HBO hasn't set up a clear way. Hey, dumbasses, I've already fucking subscribed and you got to kind of go through this little process. It's just fucking, I'm just, I'm, I'm canceling my shit next month and I'm just going to do the pay. I'll pay you myself thing because it's, it's got to be fucking easier. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I, I just signed up again. Actually, I'm still in my uh, a free week trial or yeah. whatever. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be about a month and some change before I have to deal with it. Yeah, um, I watch yeah, it, it, I watch HBO more than I watch Netflix. To be honest with you. Yeah. Um, but I don't watch a lot of TV either. So there's that. 
So now that you're not air forcing, what what are you doing to spend uh, like your days? Like what what occupies you other than uh, chasing children and doing house chores? And okay, so other than today with the child with 104 degree fever um, and screwing up uh, DTNS because I'm really good at that too. Apparently, um, <laughs> we, between Ryan, Tom is away, Amos will play. Uh, <laughs> like- well, Tom was in Brian's studio with Justin, and uh, between me and Roger, like. We had said ahead of time, well, Roger's not, he doesn't want to do all the sounding and switching and this and that. So he, he gave me some of the duties and then I couldn't do those duties because of the way we logged in. Uh, so we had to switch roles and my computer wasn't prepared to switch roles. So we kind of had to mishmash like live as we were getting ready to go. It was, it was a hot fucking mess. Um, oh, it, I mean, it I'm all came l- out. It all I'm came out fine. to the Today Show. <laughs> Oh, I want to hear the you, you'd have to listen to the GDI, the, the the Good Day Internet version, the full version, the Patreon version. Okay, that's fine. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a patron. I Be- get GDI. Well, I'm saying that you have to listen to that because I went through and and recovered the audio for the actual the non pay version. You know, the free version, um, the non Patreon version, I should say, and fixed all the levels and, and unfucked it. So it's all good to go now on that version. But the GDI, Roger was recording, so I'm sure it just sounds like complete garbage through the first half uh, because cause it was, uh, we all fucked it up. Um, but I'm doing my internship, man. Like, I'm not even Air Force anymore. I'm still getting paid by the Air Force, but now I'm working for Jenny Josephson and Tom Merritt. And, uh, it's amazing. For my first orders of business, like I haven't done any actual podcast editing or anything else that I thought I'd be doing. I've been developing Asana, which is this um, product productivity software. Mm-hmm. Uh, developing that, getting some uh, some processes down, and basically standardizing uh, uh, Infinite Gain for Jenny, and and building the, the like building. Because when she started Infinite Game, her little her production company, she just basically shotgunned it. Like we're just going to handle it as we, as it comes in, right? And I'm going in there and I'm actually adding structure and uh, file arrangements and um, uh, best practices. That's kind of what I'm doing right now is is all that. But in the process of doing that, and it's funny because this is what I'm good at, right? Like if you're going, Kent, if you're going to hire me for something, you're going to hire me to improve a process and then get the fuck out of the way. Um. That's what I do. So that's what I'm doing for her, but I'm learning all these different things that she has to go through in the process of improving her processes. And I'm learning just, I, I couldn't even tell you what I'm learning, but it's so much that I'm like, Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, Hey, we gotta, we gotta think of that. And then this has had to happen and this has to happen. And, and she's including me on like a client emails and things like that. So I'm getting the, the client side of it as well. It's really fucking fascinating world, man. I'm really loving it. It's amazing. Um, and, uh, yeah, I got to rename the production company. I, I had originally started for myself because, uh, uh I, I called it Juvat media. In, in, in tribute to uh, to the 80th Fighter Squadron in Korea the, that I served with. Um, well, Jenny reminded me that Juvat Media sounds like Jew that media. So yep. that doesn't work out so well. So I got to come up with a new name. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, that's why you. That's why it's good to to pass ideas through people. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. And, and, and if you're wondering, uh, if you're a long time listener to the show, you know that we have ritual misery productions that Kent and I share. Um, I, it's not that I wanted to branch out from that directly. It's just that I do. I want to have something that isn't directly tied to Kent that I can call, uh, my own and build that empire and have ritual misery as part of that empire, as opposed to trying to blow ritual misery up beyond what me and Kent want to do with it. Mm. So, me and Kent, Ritual Misery is the, the stuff me and Kent are directly involved in, and we have, um, yeah, Big Voice Jay said, there are no bad ideas. Well, actually, exactly. Um, R- Ritual Misery, speaking of Big Voice Jay, is a product that me and me and Kent are putting together, and it's, it's things that we're intimately tied into, things that we are bringing to the surface as a group between Kent and I. Ritual Misery is really Kent and, and I. Kent and me, Kent, whatever, however that works out. I'm uh, sure, me is the word you were looking. For. I, I'm sure. I'm sure Richard will correct me later. Um, but I want. I need something on the side of that that doesn't have to go through Kent. That you know is kind of free of that that friendship and that partnership to spin however I need to spin it without being. I don't want to say tied to Kent, but without having to go um, with 
Ken's permission on things because we we talk everything with Richard Misery we talk about and we we discuss. Um, right. Well, and there's some things that that like you know you have different opinions about certain things than I do, and yep. you have different philosophies even uh, mm-hmm. than I do about certain things. Uh, I would say about eighty percent of us is like right in line, but that twenty percent mm-hmm. is gigantically con- uh, uh, <laughs> diverged. Yes. And yes. There are certain things that we don't do on ritual misery because uh, one of us, uh, one of no, us, just dude, like we're yeah. not doing that here. And yeah. then, like, probably likewise, like I would say something, and you're like, "No, nah, man, <laughs> we're not doing that." Uh, but you would like a place where you can, you know, do um, I don't know. Give me an example. Some some off the wall thing that I would freak out about if you if you tweeted something and from the ritual misery account. <laughs> and I would lose my shit and immediately delete the tweet. What would that be? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. How about any sort of opinionated political podcast? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's kind of the, that's a, the low hanging fruit. But if I started doing a podcast about the, um, uh, that's, that's kind of really the, the big one there. Um, most of, most of our, our, our creative decisions are different. I handle things differently than you do. But right. as far as like philosophy, it's really just, we just diverge on, on the military and government. Yeah. And I, yeah. And that's interesting too, because like, I think on a, on a social perspective, like how we, you know, what we think about people, like persons, I, actually, let's say this, what we think about persons, I think we're pretty much like in line, like, you know, mm-hmm. we should treat people this way yep. uh, people should be afforded this or that you know what I mean like I think you and I are pretty much in line but the the way that we see like authority uh, for one is like it's very different <laughs> yeah um, so that, that's how that's going it's pretty awesome and uh, like I said I'm learning a lot and it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how how I can spin this into something to work um post-military life yeah that is awesome yeah. uh, if you want to see what ritual misery is going to become in the future you want to uh and you want to be a part of of helping us become that whatever it is head over to patreon.com slash ritual misery show us that you give a fuck by giving us a buck yep uh this week we want to give a special thanks to w scottis one he's been a patron for quite a while and uh, we we, uh, we really appreciate all he, that he does. And in fact, he's doing something special this weekend by hosting the uh, uh, Diamond Club Stream Team Movie Draft. And it's going to be awesome. We're going to lose again in spectacular fashion. I think we are, what, two years in a row or two seasons in a row, third placers? Mm, that may be third or fourth place, I think. <laughs> I don't know, man. We're middle of the rotors at, 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 at the most. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we did. I think we did better this year than we did last year, especially I, I, at the beginning of the season. Yeah, we we, we we stomped it for the first what twenty weeks of the twenty three week season or something like that. Like we, something. Yeah, we just something owned like it and then uh, decided to give up at the last second. Like we were we were the uh, the the hare. We ran to the very end of it and then stopped and let the turtle walk right by. Yeah, so and that's going to be the the summer 2019 movie draft mm-hmm. for the Diamond Club Stream Team. Uh, last season, the winter movie draft was won by Team Have a Drink. Mm. They'll be returning this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Bourbon Beard, who is uh, Chris, one of the hosts of Have a Drink, is joining uh, Justin this year. Uh, so it's going to be... Still have a drink, still team have a drink, but it's they're kind of mixing it up because mm-hmm. there's four members of them, so they're kind of rotating. So that's would, gonna be fun. I would like to see uh, how Chris's outlook on movies has changed now that he is a father. Yeah, we we, we need to have him back on. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> we, we've never had Chris on just by himself. We have not. And, well, I mean, for that matter, we've only ever had Bob on by himself. So yeah, yeah, we've um, had the whole team, and we've had just Bob. Yeah, uh, Chris, Brittany, and Casey. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta work that out. We gotta make that happen. Yep. Um, so also returning. Um, all, in fact, all of the same teams are returning for this season, uh, but some of the personnel has rotated. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we've got team game night. 
uh, W. Scott is one in Fitz. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got Team Movie Party, Poodle Puncher and Sassy Inn. Same teams from last uh, year. Team Ritual Misery, us, of course. Right. We've got Team VOD Squad, uh, which is uh, Matt, Jimmy, and Michael. All of those are, are, are pretty much the same folks. And mm. then we've got Team Drunk Kids Gaming returning. Curly is, com- is coming back. But this time, he's got The Gin as his partner. The Gin. Yeah, the gin. Like, not not just some gin. Yeah. Or that not, gin. Not any gin. The gin. The gin. So, yeah, so th- yeah this so could be... going to be awesome. Uh, we've, we've got Dr. Arby writing things behind the scenes. We've got Big Voice Jay doing the weekly movie draft updates. Uh, yep. It's going to be freaking awesome, man. And uh, the draft is this Saturday, uh, which uh, is the I, 9th of March. I would be... Um, uh, it, it, it would not suit us very well if I did not mention that we did receive input from another arm peer, another diamond clubber. That, that's kind of a. I would love to see the Venn diagram of diamond club and, and RMP. I mean, we're a much smaller circle, but oh, of course, um, yeah. There, there's only a few outliers that, that follow RMP that aren't also diamond club. But anyway, um, so if I say RMP or I, in, I I insinuate that they're a diamond clubber as well. Um, Squid. Uh, was, I was talking with him last night, and he gave me some some of his inputs on the old Diamond Club or uh, Stream Team movie draft as well. So, um, yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll hash that out, and that'll be that'll be fun, and interesting. Yeah, hell yeah! If you guys want to uh, watch the shenanigans go down, like I said, it's this Saturday, the 9th of March, five p.m. Eastern or two p.m. Pacific. Do do the math for your time zone. <laughs> or one, it's going to be one, on one uh, <laughs> Willie's channel. It's going to be on Twitch.tv slash W Scott is one. Yep, and we will be restreaming that on our channel as I, as I assume most other teams will as well. Yep, they should be. Do it, everybody. Yep. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, Patreon.com slash Ritual Misery uh, help us out there if you could. Now, um, I do believe, if I am not mistaken, we have a game to play. I mean, um, if you listen to the government, that's what they'll tell you. It's okay. <sighs> this week, your game is called... Theoretically conspiratorial. Mm, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. So we're going to talk about conspiracy theories tonight. And um, I had a really hard time coming up with a quiz this week. Mm. So I straight up fucking cheated and ripped off a website. <laughs> <laughs> Which I will have the link But it's not plagiari- it. plagiarism because you're actually telling us now. <laughs> you're declaring it. <laughs> oh, totally. And I'm, and I'm crediting them. Yeah. Completely. The link will be in the show notes. It, 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 it might be copyright infringement on some level, but it's not plagiarism. <laughs> and that's important. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is from a, a website called Magic Quiz. So M-A-G-I-Q-U-I-Z. Like I said, the, the link will be in the show notes. Uh, so if you want to uh, you know, check it out. Uh, I did play this myself earlier. It is 12 questions. And I wrote down uh, which ones I got right. So I've so I've already added my score in the score sheet. Okay. So so I'm I'm, I'm playing against uh, the I'm playing against the answers you say you gave. Sure. Yes. <laughs> and I will tell you I will tell you which which answers I gave as we go along. Oh, bad. We even chat says he wants some taco fried cheese sticks, and I'm not disagreeing. Uh, I'll try it. Yeah, that's <laughs> like right now. Like, bring me some right now. Leave. <laughs> Let's make that happen now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Are you ready to play? I don't. I don't think I've eaten today. Yes, I am ready to play. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and this quiz is b- testing your basic knowledge of conspiracy theories, or like some of the more popular conspiracy theories. Okay. <clears throat> All right. This first one I found to be the hardest one in the entire quiz. Ooh. What is Jade Helm 15? Ooh, I don't know. Is this multiple choice? It is multiple choice. Oh, thank, thank goodness. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So A, a super soldier created in the 80s by illegally experimenting with drugs. Okay. That sounds, uh, that, that didn't sound too bad. All right. All right. Uh, B, a conspiracy between the Chinese and North Korean governments to bomb the Olympics. Okay, but uh, all right. What's the name of it again? Jade Helm 
15. Okay, that okay. All right. All right, keep going. All right, C, a plot to overthrow the government created by the Illuminati. Okay, kind of a gimme, but all right. And D, a military training exercise that some people believed would result in the government invading Texas to steal guns. I'm going to go with Texas. You're going with Texas. Yep. Oh! Uh, yes, right. I got this one wrong. Oh. <laughs> I had no freaking idea, and I just randomly selected, and so, I chose I, I chose A, a super soldier created in the 80s. I was like, oh, I, well, dude, I don't... Okay, okay, so 15, I, I just assumed it was a year. Um, I canceled the 80s because of the 15. Canceled okay. the Olympics because of 15. Um, so that only left me with one of one of two choices. And anytime someone threatens to attack Texas and and steal guns, I I'm gonna laugh because no one's stealing guns from Texas. Fuck you. I don't even like the state, but they're not letting their guns go down. So right, I had yeah, to go with that one. That's for sure. And then w- <laughs> when I when I found out that I got this one wrong and I saw what the correct answer was, I do remember seeing news story about this, like probably oh. in 2015. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, I do not remember it being called Jade Helm. How how's some shit gonna go down in Texas in fifteen the year that I'm in Korea instead of in Texas? Whatever. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Second question. What is the most common reason that people still believe the earth is flat? Ooh. A, it's biblically supported. Okay, it's not. B, a careful examination of the science. <laughs> Clearly not. <laughs> C, the horizon doesn't curve. Oh, a v- valid or D a combo conspiracy with the faked moon landing. We don't have pictures of the round earth. I'm going to go with the horizon. Mm. It's the last one, huh? It's biblically supported. What? what? We'll get into that a little bit later. I've, I've, I've been, uh, I'm fairly well versed with the uh, flat earth theory. Yeah, you are. Um, not only did you get this one wrong, and I feel so ashamed in light of the statement that I just made about <laughs> being fairly well versed, I chose the horizon doesn't curve. Same, same as I did. Okay. So I got to say, yeah, because yes, a very large number of people that are that are into the flat earth theory mm-hmm. uh talk about the you know the biblical support for mm-hmm. that uh, but any flat earther period will t- will point to the horizon and say where's the curve so i don't know i i'm arguing with the quiz's logic i think yeah with that question um but oh. it, either way either way we're going with what the quiz says is correct and uh we were both wrong on but, that. but but i mean if, if, okay just yeah. Just so we're clear, looking at the horizon and saying that's not curved is the same argument I had in second grade. We'll get into that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, next question. Number three. Next fucking question. <laughs> Number three. The assassination of JFK is a source Ooh. of many conspiracy theories. Some of my favorites. Which of these people has never been accused of orchestrating the assassination? I am going to correct the wording here because okay. it says, which of these people has never been accused of... I'm sorry, you can't say this. Someone has never been whatever. <laughs> Someone has accused everyone of being whatever. Oh. So I would say it is not popularly theorized uh, that this person. Uh, I I, I love it when you okay. So ninety percent, ninety five, ninety. So almost all the time, when when there is a a. Disruption of verbiage and syntax in the, against the meaning. It is I, I think, is it me, who is bringing up the fact that it's shitty and it needs to be reworded. Like that's that's kind of my thing. That's what I do. I see shit and I'm like, that can be read two ways. And most people are like, no, it can't. It just 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 um, fuck you. It can be read two ways. If I can read it two ways, other people, uh, some idiot right. can read it the wrong way. That's almost always me. I love it when you come across these. You're like, you know, what? that actually makes makes sense logically, but that's not how they. That's not. That's not. A, that's not good. So I'm. I, I got a slight chub right now on you pulling to Amos. Uh, I just gave Amos a chub. That's, that's amazing. Uh, that that speaking of shit, it didn't come out right. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So which which people are not commonly uh uh uh, accused of being the JFK accused uh, or theorized. <sighs> I guess so the, the wording of the question is which of these people has never been accused of orchestrating the assassination. Okay. Go for All it. Right. Fidel Castro. Uh, the he Free has, Masons. they have, we were talking over each other. I'm going to, I'm just going to start over. A, Fidel Castro. Okay, he has been, been, been accused. B, the Freemasons. They have been accused. C, Lyndon Johnson. He has been accused. Or D, the Mafia. They have been accused. Yeah, see, that's why I did not like the wording of this question. <laughs> <laughs> so which of those is least commonly uh, attributed to the assassination? That's, that's really that's what it... How I- yeah, um, I'm going to go with uh, Fidel Castro. Well, shit. Um, so the mafia is like the gimme. Um, okay, so it was it was Fidel Castro, Lyndon B. Johnson, the mafia, and the Illuminati, or, or uh, Freemasons. Freemasons, Freemasons. Not same shit, Freemasons. whatever. Um, uh, um, technically not. <laughs> We were talking about Venn diagrams, right? The Illuminati and the Freemasons are they're often yeah they're often attributed with the same the, the yeah the the belief uh, the, the superstitions around the two uh, have a very similar Venn diagram to us in Diamond Club. Yes, yes. <laughs> that is not to say that I personally associate the uh, the Freemasons, so don't come to my house and tear it down. Um, but and also, yeah. Diamond Club's not a cult. It's not. It's totally a cult. Not a cult. <clears throat> yeah, not. Uh, not. Um, <clears throat> we. Not. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go of those four. Ooh, of those four, it's got to be either Fidel Castro or the Freemasons, and I'm going to go Freemasons. <laughs> so you flipped a coin and came up with Freemasons. I, I flipped an imaginary coin and came up with Freemasons. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to be mad at your methods. <laughs> I, my, methods I make about as, my methods make about as much sense as this fucking question. <laughs> <laughs> I chose Fidel Castro, and of course, I was wrong. All right, so what am I sitting at now? I'm sitting at two out of three. Um, yes, you are sitting at two, mm. and I'm at zero. That's oh far. shit! <laughs> yeah, the best time for me to win is when you're not playing. Right. All right. So uh, number four. Mm. One conspiracy theory states that Barack Obama was not born in the United States. Where do people say he was born? Oh, okay. Give me the, the, give me the, give me the, give me the, give me the, the, uh, 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 you know what I mean? All right. So, uh, the countries listed here, I'm just going to call all four of them out at once. Okay. Kenya, South Africa, Nigeria, Egypt. So Egypt is out and South Africa is either Kenya or Nigeria. I'm going to go with Nigeria because that's where most of my wife's ancestors came from. The answer, of course, is Kenya. I, I kind of had that feeling, but I couldn't go against my wife. Um, yeah, and I, I did get that one right. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the part of that, you know, I might, I, I think I would have gotten that one right anyway, but also I was, I've been watching uh, CNN's The 2000s. Mm. And last night I just watched the episode about the, uh, the 2008 campaign and when gotcha. Barack Obama became president. Yeah, he was actually and born they, in Hawaii. Yeah, and they, they talked about the whole birth certificate thing. And, of course, they had to end the episode with uh, Donald Trump in the audience of the, um, I think it was the... Uh, the RNC or something. What, what, what is it when the press gets together and they all, like, make jokes and... Oh, um, the, <clears throat> the, the press dinner, the... Yeah. Yeah, the White, White House press dinner or something like that. Um, and typically the president will get up there and kind of make jokes about the media and whatnot. Yeah. Well, um, uh, Barack Obama was on stage while Donald Trump was in the audience and he basically dunked all over the Donald uh, about the whole birth certificate thing. 
And it was, that's how they ended the episode. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. White House Correspondents Association dinner. There you go. Thank you, Bedweave. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay. All right. So moving on. Number five. This conspiracy suggests that the world will soon be under the control of a single totalitarian government. I'm sorry. Go ahead and do that again. I was coughing. The conspiracy theory, this conspiracy theory suggests that the world will soon be under the control of a single totalitarian government. Okay, go ahead. Choices with this. are A, the final solution, Mm-mm. B, lizard people, No. C, new world order, That's it. or D, one earth. Nope. Uh, new world order. So you started cool. out with a, with a question about your conspiracy that you chose to talk about tonight, and you that question was about the conspiracy that I choose to talk about tonight. So <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm, maybe I'm more of a conspiratorial mind than I thought. I was already a cynic. All right, go, yeah. ahead, go ahead with your next question. Um, so, so spoiler alert, I've gotten... I got that one right as well. Um, but I also, for the rest of this quiz, I get all the rest of them correct. Uh so, spoiler alert here. My score is nine, so you're mm. trying to beat nine. Okay. And what am I at right now? the first three and then got all the rest of them correct. You are at three right now. Three of four? Three of five. Three of five. Mm. And there's 12 total, so I've got one more to miss, to tie. Right. To tie. Okay. Right. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Let's so, go. <clears throat> number six. All right. Despite repeated debunking, many people still believe that vaccines cause which condition? Autism. There you go. Fuck. A new, I figured I wouldn't have to read uh, this. A new, a new uh, report just came out this week that blows that shit apart again. But you keep fucking being anti-vaxxer idiots. Okay, continue. Yeah. All right, number seven. This Nevada military base is the site of many conspiracy theories, specifically surrounding aliens. Area 51. Which actually isn't Area 51. It's... Which actually what? It's actually not Area 51. It's got some other fucking name that you told me at one time and I can't remember. It's like it's like Groom Lake um, yeah. Air Force Research Laboratory or something like that. Something stupid, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of in line with the names of other Air Force facilities. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, they, they like changed- Eglin Air Force Base in Florida has the Air Armament Center. Yeah. I mean, the, the Area 51's real name is very similar sounding to that. Yeah. So anyhow. Um, so on to number eight, some people believe that the Navy's Philadelphia experiment did what, uh, made a ship disappear from one place and go to, uh, the Norfolk shipyards and then reappear. But when it reappeared, a lot of the people were like melded into the ship, but give me your options. (laughs) I could just choose for you. (laughs) Your answer most closely aligns with A, made a warship invisible, mm. uh, which I think you're just going to go ahead and go with yeah. because the others are covered up evidence of aliens, no. was led by lizard people, no. or secretly created an uber weapon that can destroy the earth. Uber. So you chose made a warship invisible. Yeah. <laughs> that would be right. this, if nothing else, this quiz is really opening me up to how many of these conspiracy theories I check in on. <laughs> I know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <clears throat> uh, and Beam says lizards. Uh, uh, lizards is always the answer. I yeah, think. I think that's always his answer. Yeah, you can always trace it back to lizards. 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 Yeah. All right, number nine. If you're a nine eleven truther, hmm. you might believe that this government was involved in the attacks. Go ahead. The choices are China, no. Israel, no. North Korea, no. or Russia. China, Israel, North Korea, or Russia? I'm going to go anti-North Korea. I'm going to go anti-China. I'm going to go Israel. Because it seems... You think Israel may have been behind 9-11? No. I want to to clarify. I want to clarify. Not all 9-11 truthers think Israel was related. And I don't think Israel was related... Uh, separate from my belief in 9-11, um, I was just answering the question. <laughs> uh, 
for, for the record, Truther is capitalized. So I, I think it's a very specific group that calls themselves. Fair that. enough. Fair trademark. Enough. Trademark. 911 Truther trademark. T- TMRC. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Number 10. True or false, the Simpsons predicted the Donald Trump presidency. Ooh. I'm going to. Well. Uh, uh, did it actually predict? No. However, it did show him as president in an episode uh, based on uh, a certain event. So <clears throat> did it predict it like Nostradamus? No. Did it predict it as in, uh, 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 what do you call it? Um, oh, oh, you have more sound effects for me now, huh? So oh. St- Steph did that to me last week when I was stalling. <laughs> And I, I liked it. So I'm going to say I'm yes. Gonna You're picking yes. I'm, I'm picking yes. Okay. Or true. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They, of course. Yeah. Um, you, they, they, you were getting too in the weeds with the wording. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They, they've on that same token, they've predicted all kinds of shit. So sure. <clears throat> all right. Number right. 11, mm-hmm. which director do some people believe directed the faked moon landing? Francis Ford Coppola, mm-hmm. Alfred Hitchcock, mm-hmm. Steven Spielberg, mm-hmm. Stanley Kubrick. Mm, that's tough. Um, not Steven Spielberg, because he didn't actually have anything good until later. Um... <sighs> I'm going to go, shit, this could be make or break right there. This is the question 11, huh? Fuck you. Um, I'm going to go Once Kubrick. again, your choices are Francis Ford Coppola. I'm going to go Kubrick. You're going with Kubrick. Okay, mm-hmm. so D, Stanley Kubrick. <laughs> yes. I was genuinely concerned about that one. All right. Your final question number 12 <laughs> and beam says does roundup turn frogs gay <laughs> <laughs> oh geez all right number 12 uh-huh. some people believe that the government sprays chemtrails yes from planes uh-huh what do they believe the purpose of those chemtrails is uh, before you read them i'm going to say mind control and then i'm going to let you read them okay so much like the battleship answer. I'm going to go ahead and choose one for you, hmm. which is going to be B. Your choices are A, to create sleeper agents, hmm. B, to control the population, hmm. C, to thin the population, hmm. or D, to hide the aliens. Are you still comfortable with B? Yes. <clears throat> that I, makes your final score 10 out of 12. Yes! <laughs> Which means that you beat my nine out of twelve. So good job. Good job. <laughs> um, again, that is at magicquiz. dot com. M a g i q u i z. The link directly to that quiz will be in the show notes. Yep. So if listening to us after the fact, uh, you know, post live. You know, right here live on twitch.tv slash ritual misery every Thursday night at seven p.m. Central. Ish. Uh, uh, the, so, so know, go to the show notes. 7 p.m. Pacific ish. Which, if you've already listened to this uh, to this quiz, why would you play this? Uh, no, uh, obviously you know all the answers, but you can show it to your friends. And Some family. people need affirmation. Yes, or that. Test your memory. Like <laughs> bookmark the link and wait a week. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit this button right here. I don't know about the 60 seconds, but we are running a little long. However, we do have some hot takes on some conspiracies. We do, man. Um, go ahead and... Uh, so. Uh, we were going to do a little bit of a, a like a round table uh, about different conspiracy theories and whatnot, but we 
we're short on time. So we're going to do two. Amos, mm-hmm. you're going to take the lead on one. I'm going to ask some questions, mm-hmm. hopefully, that you can answer. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to do one and uh, likewise. So, yep. And we will uh, start with yours because uh, you are going to have a much, uh, uh, much cooler take than I will, I, I assume. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, so the, the conspiracy that I chose to talk about is Flat Earth. Uh, like I said earlier, I, I'm kind of um, uh, fairly well versed on this. Mm-hmm. I, I first heard about it, uh, well, like as a modern conspiracy theory. I first heard about it probably like two years ago or something. Real quick, it must buy during the movie draft. Go. Okay. <laughs> Uh, You're not drinking enough beer, and I'm drinking double strong beer. So enjoy yourself. So, so a couple of years ago, when I heard that that flat Earth theory was a thing, mm-hmm. first I thought it was a joke. I'm like, yeah, okay, right. <laughs> and then, oh, you're, you're, oh, you're, you're serious? <laughs> what the fuck? And I didn't think like I'm, I was like, no, that's that sounds too ridiculous. I have to I have to find out about this, and I started doing searches. And this is how people get into conspiracy theories, right? You start mm-hmm. doing an internet search. Um, you know, it didn't always work that way because conspiracy theories have existed for centuries. And we've only had the internet for a couple decades now. Mm-hmm. Uh, but now, it, it, conspiracy theories spread much, 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 much faster because of the internet. Things like YouTube, uh, Facebook. Uh, if you go to YouTube and just type in flat earth, you will find hundreds of thousands, if not millions, literally millions of videos about literally it. millions. Yeah. Uh, so it, 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 clear with this theory, you're, you're going to be just like me and you're gonna be like, how the fuck can somebody believe that? Uh, but people present uh, a lot of evidence mm-hmm. that, you know, basically, uh, we, we can't go to space, right? Like we can't just like, you know, hop in our car and like go up there and see for ourselves that the right. earth is a globe. So we have to either blindly trust those in power or, uh, determine what the, uh, what, you know, what your world is by what we have available to us, like our own senses, right. Um, or our own abilities to, to perform experiments and things like that. Uh, so, like for example, if you look at the horizon, it looks like it's flat. It doesn't. It's not obviously curved, right? So, that's a very small, very obvious example of what people uh, use for this. Um, I could go on and on and on, but do you have any direct questions, Amos, about uh, the theory and what what they believe? Um, w- if you were going to point at a single scientific ish. Um, ideology of the flat earthers that convinces them that we are not on a globe, that we are on a flat plane, what would that singular ideology be? Now, when you say ideology, what is it? Uh, what, what do you actually... Like, like what, what do they claim as fact that proves their point? What, um, what, what is their basis of truth for them? Uh, well, like the quiz indicated earlier, a lot of the flat earthers are Christians and not just, not just like, you know, I call myself, I go to church on Sunday. I'm a Christian. There are like every word of the Bible is literally true Christians. And, uh, speaking of conspiracies, if you hold the Bible as pure truth, irrefutable truth, then whatever refutes that. Uh, you know, you can call it confirmation bias, or you can call it um, uh, what is it? Uh, selective rejection, I think, mm-hmm. is what the fallacy is called. Where, um, like, you just will disregard evidence presented to you because it doesn't fit your worldview. Uh, once your mind is set that okay, this is truth, so anything that contradicts it cannot be true. Uh, that is uh, well, that's a that's common to conspiracy theories generally, uh, but but flat Earth even more so because. Uh, there, there are so many counterpoints with uh, science that that disputes different parts of their, uh, you know, their theories and uh, um, hypotheses and things like that. But they will almost across the board will just flat out deny uh, you know, that having any bearing on anything. They'll either 
ignore it and attack the source or, uh, you know, various like defense mechanisms, right? So whether the Earth is flat or not, uh, they, I think most of them hold so strongly to it because it's not possible in their worldview that the Bible is not literally correct. Fair enough. Okay. I uh, mean, that mix that with there is no tangible, irrefutable evidence that like I can't, if, if someone has decided that the earth is not round, there's nothing, nothing I can do to show them well, otherwise. That's, oh damn it. That's, that's a whole other aspect of science. The n- n- negative affirmation theory or something like that. Where yeah. You can't yeah. prove something doesn't exist. You can only but prove the, that. But the, right. Exactly. But, the, but the interesting thing to me is if they're wrong, if the world is in fact a globe, this is something that can be fairly easily, fairly soon shown to them that they're wrong, mm. irrefutably. Uh, we are very quickly entering in, into the age of commercial space travel that's available to more than just like you know the billionaires. Um, that it's already available to the billionaires. Mm-hmm. Um, it we're not far off from. Um, you know, companies like SpaceX and Blue uh, uh, Blue Origin and um, oh crap, what, uh, Virgin uh, Virgin Galactic companies like that um, getting the cost of rocket launches down so far uh, that it'll be you know spend a couple grand, right? Like you can either go on a, a, a Disney cruise or um, go uh, take a couple of orbits around the Earth. You know, it's going to be like the same budget, like in the near, near ish future. Like I would say within 20 years, we're going to be there. As of right now, I'm still going to go on the Disney cruise with the free drinks. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and more importantly, the free daycare. Right. But, but attainable, I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah. You, you know, you could take it. Most people would be able to take out a loan for how much it's going to cost to buy a ticket. Yeah. Um, uh, so, so, well, the, in theory, if, if the world is in fact a globe, that's, that's where we're heading very quickly. And it's something that can be, you know, you can buy the ticket, n- not me or you, uh, because patreon.com slash ritual misery hasn't paid us that much yet. Mm-mm. Uh, but somebody like, you know, Elon Musk could just like if, say, you know if, what, um, you, you and you just get on the, get on the rocket. I'm going to put you up there. If we can't get to South by, we are not going to space. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but, but, this is what makes it interesting to me. Like South by you spe- could be proven. South by you can be proven space wrong. wasted. South by space wasted, dude. I want to get wasted in space. <laughs> I want I just want some edibles up there. Is that so wrong? <laughs> <laughs> any of those? Any of those? Um, no, but, but but the thing that's that's the most fascinating to me about the flat Earth theory is that they could be so easily proven wrong in the very near future Mm -hmm. and what does that mean for the believer like the hardcore believers of this uh i don't know i kind of feel bad for them if they're incorrect i feel bad for the the inevitable like truth train that's that's rapidly speeding down the tracks Mm -hmm. toward them uh where like you know other conspiracy theories like you know, uh, uh, you know, nine eleven truthers or, or JFK assassin, you know, was assassinated by the CIA or something like that. Uh, there's not going to be a, an event or anything coming ever probably that can irrefutably prove that they're wrong. Yeah. But I flat earth can very easily be proven wrong if it is in fact wrong. I think the proof about JFK is already there. We just not allowed to see it. But that's just well, no. But that's that's the point, right? But that's that's a conspiracy theory because the conspiracies are kept from the people. There's yeah. truth to be had in anything. It's whether or not it's going to be accessible to you know the sheep, the commoners, yeah. the us. <laughs> okay, so you clearly do not subscribe to the flat Earth theory. Uh, no, I I do not. Okay. I, however, do at least partially subscribe to the theory or the the project, the media project I'm going to present as Exhibit B. Um, oh, re- real quick. Mm-hmm. Speaking of media projects, the other day, uh, uh, earlier this week, I watched Behind the Curve 
on Netflix. It's a documentary yeah. about uh, the flat Earth theory. <laughs> Go check it out. There'll be a link spoiler there. alert. They prove themselves wrong at the end, and they still don't believe it. Uh, well, <laughs> it's still refutable, but the, but the documentary obviously takes the stance at the end that uh, that they're wrong. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's it's not even an interesting watch, um, but it I it, I enjoyed it. It, it reinforces uh, whichever side you want to be on. It reinforces that side, um, right? Yep, exactly. So yeah. media projects that are not about flat Earth. Zeitgeist the movie. This has been around since two thousand eight, eleven, ten. I don't know. It's been oh, around a while. That, no, it's. I think it's older than that because I remember seeing Zeitgeist the movie, the first one, anyway. Yeah. Um, God, like I, I can't even tell you. It was a long time ago. There are now three, by the way. Yeah, I found that out. <laughs> I have not seen the other two. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so they bring forth things like nine eleven, the New World Order, um, Christianity. Uh, um, the the uh, the World Bank. I'm not going to try to get into them all because we've already said we we're short on time, and these are literally two to three hour movies, and there's three of them. So I'm going to say flat out, okay, Kent. Uh, we we've already discussed previously that we are not going to disparage against our government because we both know that I could do that all day, and that is not beneficial to you or I in my current state. So. To stay away from that, I will say the following. I believe JFK was killed by our government, at least okay. in part, whether it's the CIA or Lyndon B. Johnson, which I don't think he was part of it because he's too much of a pussy. Um, <laughs> or, or, you sound like half of the constituency <laughs> of the country at the time in the right. 60s. Right. Um, or the mafia with, uh, with, with CIA slash FBI uh, blind eyes. I mean, there, there was something there. Otherwise, they would have already released all the documents by now. Or, or living people were still Im implied or implicated, but haven't, you know, they ha either haven't died yet and they want to wait until they're dead before they say, here it is. Or, mm -hmm. or there's, there's some, okay, so JFK, um, there's more than, more there than we know. Uh, 9 11 um, w was an inside job. Uh, I'm not going to say at what level, but I, there's more there than what they're saying. Um, uh, basically, I'm, I'm going to say that these are all government cover ups in some way, shape, or form. Um, JFK, 9 11, the World Bank is bullshit and it's going to enslave us all. If we're not already there, we just don't realize it because the, the curtain has not been raised above our eyes yet because they're still establishing control or fighting for control amongst the uber, uber, uber rich elite. And um, the Illuminati, it, it may not be real in the way that we see it is real, but it is real. There are. Uh, along with the World Bank, these two kind of tie into each other. There are uber rich hidden forces controlling the world in a way that we do not understand or the a way that we seem crazy if we think about. And I don't think it started with the Federal Reserve, the United States Federal Reserve, but I think that was a key point in the acceleration of the overall plan amongst the uber rich. So let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. So the the, uh, the cabal, uh, whether it's Illuminati or 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 what whatever they're called, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it it can, it's consistent of the uber rich, right? So M mostly, yes. Okay, so is is that what is um, is that your passage, right? Like why why you get invited in is because of your money or no? And that's and that's where I think so. A lot so of people, people got rich and then then formed the 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 group. Pe so so basically so basically th this is a this is an organization obviously it's been around for for decades if not centuries right. Mm. So the richest people on the planet, well, publicly known richest people on the planet. Uh, namely like Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, there's no way that they're involved because they're too much new money. Because if, rewind a couple of decades, they, they were a couple of broke dick motherfuckers. At some and, point in the 1800s, the 19th century, um, once we had a global economy, 
the most powerful and most elite of those powerful formed a union or a a a cabal if you as you said some people have worked their way in some people have worked their way out but it's still essentially those people and it was based on power not necessarily riches at the time so okay. Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos have become uber rich. Warren Buffett has become uber rich. I don't think they're part of the Illuminati or whatever cabal you want to give it a name to because they are new money, but I'm not excluding them from the possibility either. Well, Bill Gates I'll exclude and Warren Buffett I'll exclude because they've done, they've given so much of their damn money to, to uh, the poor causes and things that would not benefit the cabal as it were. Unless they're part of the conspiracy, right? Unless they're like just doing that to dump off. But anyway, um, I, I just think it's 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 old. It's, it, I think it predates the Rockefellers and and shit like that. Like it, it's it's as soon as we had a global economy, you had players putting global pieces together, and I think we're still playing the same game. And I think you and I are. Um, what's the what's once what is one power higher than pawns in chess? What's the next piece up? Uh, probably bishops. Okay, so we're bishops. Okay, you and I, middle class Americans, are bishops in the in the in the game. We, okay, so now, so this organization, uh, do they re? I mean, this is a, you know your best guess. Uh, do <coughs> excuse me. Uh, do they recruit? Um, uh, they don't recruit at all. No. Is what you're saying? So no. Okay, so. If they're if they're ba they're basically puppeteers, right? Like directing mm -hmm. uh, direct, directing traffic on the geopolitical scale. Yes. Right. Uh, so are they responsible for putting people in power? So like rigging elections and yes, funding campaigns. And yes, et cetera. Et like cetera. the Koch brothers. The Koch brothers are fucking cabal. Ah, gotcha. Like they are. Okay. George Soros, I'm assuming, is also. Yeah, yeah. They they are okay. clearly cabal. Like uh, it, just just having money doesn't exclude you from the power play. Uh, it's the ones that you know are are active. They are either cabal or they are the the first string of the puppeteer. Okay, um, so another another aspect of the flat Earth theory is that the the because you know, why why would why would people even say that the world is a globe if it's obviously a lie? Right. Right. Um, the purpose of the lie is to, uh, in in a way, control the masses. Mm -hmm. um, in the the biblical aspect, it's the denial of God, mm. right? So taking power from God and giving it to man. Um, there's that aspect, but even the people that don't believe in the the biblical aspects, the it's it's kind of like a it's almost like a a, a cabal of world leaders. And space organizations and scientists that that have decided that they don't want to lose the power that they have, so they're basically going to feed like bullshit to the masses or whatever. Uh, which makes me think if the like if all of the world leaders or at least the the space worthy nations, uh, you know, first world I guess, mm -hmm. are in on this, that would mean that the world leaders. Uh, you know, are are part of this, you know, Illuminati or whatever you want to call it, part of this thing, and it just makes me want. I, so, if if the world is indeed flat, that that's basically confirmation of the existence of the new world order. Uh, I personally don't tie the two theories together, uh, mostly because I think flat earthers are completely full of shit. Right. Well. Um, well okay. All right. Right. <laughs> but so th they're not. So like, let's say that. Let's say New World Order is true. It doesn't necessarily mean that Flat Earth is true. And in fact, it probably doesn't. Like the likelihood of that being true, in my opinion, is very, very low. It's infinitesim infinitesimally small. Right. But let's say that, let's hypothetically, the Earth is indeed flat. Mm -hmm. And we've been indoctrinized or indoctrinated like our whole lives, all of us as a society, to think that the world is round on purpose by a cabal. I think if the Earth is indeed flat, that is confirmation of like, oh yeah, so many other. <laughs> no, no, no. I yeah. Now that you point, now that you spin it that way, yes, I completely. If the world does turn out to be flat, we are completely in a new world order. Like that is fully established, yeah. completely done. Like 
one does not confirm the other, but the other, the other does confirm, confirm the, the one. one. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Got it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'm curious what our listeners and watchers think about uh, these conspiracy theories and others. Yeah. Uh, Amos, what what would be the best way for them to uh, reach Hon- out? To honestly, them? the best way would be uh, tweet us at Ritual Misery on Twitter or email us ritualmiserypodcast at gmail.com. Um, get, let us know what, what you think and where you're at with it. Tell us your favorite conspiracy theories because, uh, like, no shit. I will read and 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 spend time in every single one of them, regardless of how complete shit show they may seem. Like I will, I will, I will delve down that path because I refuse to to uh, let our listeners go unlistened. Yeah, uh, to confirm that or to uh, support that, uh, Bad Weave says the cabal will never allow proof of a flat Earth to appear. <laughs> uh, then Imim says, send your message via chemtrails. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I think I can see this. It, if we get some good audience participation and submissions on this, I could see this becoming a uh, a semi regular or, or recurring. Let's call it a recurring topic on this show. That's a lot of fun to talk about, and it's it's kind of a, a rabbit hole. And, and um, we talked about earlier how you and I eighty percent are are really in line, um, nearly identical. Uh, another ten percent is probably at least in the same general area, if not the details being separate. That yeah. last ten percent, a lot of that is my crazy fucking beliefs that nine eleven was an inside job and shit like that. And Kent, <laughs> and Kent just doesn't doesn't see how the government could could pull something like that off. And it, it, I mean, really, that's where a lot of our divisions come come in. And a lot of our divisions are nuanced. But yes. but the and and one of the nuances is, is how we initially choose to present our ideas. Yeah, yeah, not not those untrue. will be diametrically opposite. <laughs> Yeah, like 100. Uh, percent Yeah, Pro- proving wanna, once again we are not twins. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to hit me up on uh, on Twitter, I am rm underscore del noche. Uh, tell me what your thoughts are about flat Earth, and if you have a, a a cool flat Earth message board or 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 like a Facebook group or something that you want to add me to, go ahead and do that. Uh, people have done that before, and I've gotten kicked out mm. of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not because I'm an asshole in there. It's it's, it's you keep, my non participation. I think you keep asking the right questions. <laughs> <laughs> but, if, uh, but if you want to talk about New World Order with Amos, go over to Twitter at Ethan Kane. Yep, uh, I will. I, I, I no shit. I will respond back to any kind of conspiracies that I get because I. But hey, Amos. Yeah. The best most favorite by me mm-hmm. place for people mm-hmm. to talk to us mm-hmm. about anything, be it conspiracy theories or be it beer, uh, like bad weave did earlier this week uh-huh. or retro video games. Like uh-huh. we talked about a couple of weeks ago on the show uh-huh. or like Cogswell, uh-huh. uh, t- talked a lot about, uh, we have a discord. We've yeah. had one for a while and we've failed we have failed to advertise it properly. It, uh, it, that's not a conspiracy. We just suck at, at, at telling people how to get a hold of us. And maybe, maybe that's maybe that's what's going on with this new world order shit. <laughs> maybe it's not a conspiracy. Maybe this this the people that are are supposed to be protecting us just suck that bad. Ladies and gentlemen, now that Kent has fully discovered Discord, we are going to start telling you about our Discord so we can get you in there and we can talk to you personally. Uh, if you're a patron, you got a, some special channels in there, and if you're not a patron but you're a subscriber on Twitch, you get other special channels. If you're doing both, then fuck it, we're just going to talk to you all the time. We're just we just give you a personal line. Um, and you can cruise on over. Where is it? Uh, bit.ly uh, bit. slash RMP discord bit.ly slash RMP discord. Go there, find us. And, uh, if we get some more people in there, cause we got, we got, we got quite a few people in there actually. Um, and apparently discord shot Kennedy. So that might be a thing that could be, that could be one of the conspiracy theories that you need to talk about. Cruise on over to our, uh, bit.ly slash RMP Discord. Find us in there, and uh, we will start doing some special treats for the people that are in there. Hell yeah. All right. Um, hey, man, uh, uh, you, you did it so well last week that I didn't listen to. Why don't you read us out this week? All right, man. Um, I said uh, I said where I'm at on Twitter. I'm Del Noche just about all the other places that aren't Twitter. Uh, <laughs> 
anyway, um, yeah, Ritual Misery is uh, where we're at on Twitter. Also, go over to ritualmisery.com to support us in many different ways. Find out everything that Ritual Misery has going on, ritualmisery.com. We are live every Thursday night on twitch.tv slash ritual misery at 7 p.m. ish Pacific time and diamondclub.tv. <laughs> uh, we also want to say thank you so much to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use your music, both as our intro and outro, but also our wonderful lead in music in the pre-show and credit uh, that motherfucker. If you're using his stuff, man, come on. Hell yes. He doesn't even charge for it. Just give him some credit. He just, he just wants some thanks, man. He and if you don't even know what we're talking about, head over to incompetech.com. Yeah. Find in, all of his as awesome in music. incompetence and tech, like do it. Go incompetech.com. <laughs> incompetech. anyway. Uh, thanks for listening for Amos, for me and for you. This has been your Ritual Misery Podcast. And I played the music too late because I was too busy fighting about Kevin McLeod because that's how much he means to us. So, uh... We'll fix it in post. Yeah. Well, or not. <laughs> or not. <I> <laughs> See <know>. ya! <laughs>